Hi, I'm Christina Jewett. I'm a reporter with Kaiser Health News. And this is a story about um, hidden reports of harm related to medical devices. I started looking into the issue of medical device safety, and I was talking to a source who told me that there are actually some pathways outside of the standard um, injury, malfunction, and death reporting that happens with medical devices and that those outside pathways put some of that information out of the reach of a lot of the doctors or researchers who actually use that information for patient safety reasons. And I thought that was really intriguing, so I decided to dig in. So basically what I found out was that there are certain terms um, that the medical device makers will use um, when they reference um, some of these reports that are going outside of the normal channels. And so I searched and searched and searched, and I found about 10 devices um, that discussed um, filing summary reports or having a special exemption from the FDA. And so I started asking the FDA questions. And what I found out was that there's a database inside the FDA that's extremely obscure. And basically that's a place where some device makers who have these special exemptions can file um, serious injury and malfunction reports. And I asked, you know, how many of these, you know, are there each year? And what I came to find out was that the numbers are pretty huge. Um, in 2014, you're looking at about 430,000, and that went right up um, through 2017 to about 480,000. And one of the devices I wound up focusing on that had one of these reporting exemptions is the surgical stapler. And what's interesting about the surgical stapler is that this is a device that usually works just fine, but it actually cuts vessels and it cuts um, tissue. And so if there is a misfire, if it doesn't work right, very quickly patients can bleed to death. And so what I found out was that in the year 2016, as far as stapler problems go, you see less than 100 reports of injury or malfunction. Um, but after months of um, asking questions to the FDA, um, what I found out was that same year, um, stapler makers filed 10,000, um, just shy of 10,000 reports to this database that's just inside the FDA and is really just not known to the doctors, um, researchers, and patients who, who are looking for this kind of information. So there's a number of devices that we um, took a look at, and I hope you'll um, take a look at the story and, and see what you can learn.